the Coalition for Good Governance and Rule of Law has advised Senator Smart Adeyemi to apologize to Chief Okezi Epazu over his recent attacks targeted at the Abia State Governor. The coalition described Senator Adeyemi as an extremely and suitable opportunist in the Senate, tumbling with verbal diarrhea. Recall that the lawmaker representing Gogi West Senatorial District on Tuesday do a plenary section describe Epazu as a drunkard. However, the coalition at the press conference on Saturday in Abuja by its leader, Chief Isaac Ekpa, said, and Yemi and the state governor Yaya Belu are no match for Ekpazu. Isaac Ekpa noted that Adi Yemi has to known legacy in his constituency to showcase for his street tenor in the National Assembly to commensurate with the billions of Naira he has received. Instead of looking the way Ekpazu, who was excelled in developmental project, the group charged Adi Yemi to criticize Yaya Belu for his indebtedness of salaries and pension in Kogi states. As we speak today, Senator Adehemi has no known legacy in his constituency to showcase for his three tenures in National Assembly commensurate with the billions of Naira he has received as constituency funds, just like his predecessor, popularly known as Dino. The idea of leadership known to these fellows is personal enrichment against the people and the and against the people and expect everyone to become a chair clapper in the crowd of psychophants around them. Therefore, when genuine leaders like Governor Ekpazu deliver leadership to their people, it's natural that the likes of Senator Ademi would get offended and classify them drunkards. The mindset of Ademi is that every leader of the people in Nigeria today should be deceptive like him, and he finds Governor Ekpazu an automatic enemy for trying to transform Abia State. Only God Almighty knows when Senator Adeyemi will become governor of his home state, Kogi. The coalition, therefore, warned Senator Adeyemi that failure to publicly apologize will compel us to take further steps to test the liberty of freedom of speech in the Nigeria parliament in the judiciary. <laughs>